This video will go into detail about the religion, tradition, and roots of the Kingdom of Congo. Shortly after the first Portuguese explorers reached its shores in 1483, the Catholic Church arrived in the Kingdom of Congo. It arrived through conquest and conversion. Conversions to Christianity solidified important trading relationships. In most of Congo, Christianity was accepted not as a new religion that would replace the old, but rather a cult that was fully compatible with existing cultures. The type of Christianity that developed in Congo was Roman Catholicism. It spread throughout Congo and was easily adapted since the translations of Christian doctrine into the local language were rendered directly equivalent to existing concepts in Congo, Congo cosmology. It related to existing cultures and no one saw it as a threat or replacement for other religions. Most of the nobles converted to Christianity along with the king and all baptisms were voluntary and without incident. Although by the 16th century, the Congo, the Congo kingdom virtually ceased to exist, the Bakongo, people of Congo, still practice the religion to this day. Traditions and beliefs practiced by the Bakongo have mixed with Christianity and produced new sects. These new sects are what pre preserved the religion of the kingdom of Congo. Today, about 300,000 active members belong to the Kimbangu church, most of them living in lower Congo. There were not any native-born saints, but the Christian saints acted as supplements to a pre-existing community of deities whose intercession the kingdom relied upon. The Congolese nobility swiftly adopted Christianity for several reasons, the first reason being the nature of the centralized government and the hierarchically structured society facilitated the dissemination of information. The already existing concepts in Congo cosmology were equivalent to the translations of Christian doctrine into the local language, Kikongo. From the time of Zinga's conversion until the 17th century, the Congo leadership engaged in extensive communications with religious and political leaders from Europe, including the Pope and other members of the Vatican, who accepted the Congo Church as Orthodox. Indigenous Catholics lived under the authority and guidance of French Jesuits, and therefore took on many of their practices, both religious and secular. Unlike Congo, the Catholic identity was not closely tied to any Native American identity. Christian imagery was first introduced to Congo by Portuguese navigators, who associated the symbol of a cross with political power and military might. The religion would have a lasting effect on art in the kingdom, which incorporated such elements as the cross and European conventions of proportion. The first Christian artworks arrived in Congo through a series of royal gift exchanges. Taking a look at the first image on the left, many people believe this cross represents the Trinity with its three separate Christ figures. This form of cross is called the Caravaca form and may have been brought to Congo in the 18th century by Capuchin missionaries. Looking at the second image in the middle, this staff of St. Anthony emphasizes both of its owner's Christian beliefs and ties to Congo history. St. Anthony remains an important figure in Congolese Christian worship to this day. Looking at the last image, the life-size statue of St. Anthony is placed on a pickup truck to journey through Lisbon. Bearers carry smaller images of saints on flower-covered litters or platforms, much as they would have been processed in Congo centuries ago.